Welcome everyone. So today we are going to figure out this particular kind of a question where there is a question mark within the LHS. Okay. Normally we have some things over here and we need to find out what is it equal to. Okay. But this is in this case it's a bit different. So when you have something like this, you go reverse. Okay. So what happens is see, first we will keep this bracket as it is. Okay. And we'll go from your right and go up to your left. Because we need to find the value in your LHS. So you go the reverse matter. Okay. Now what you should do in this case is since here we have division of 12. We will multiply by 12 on both sides. So what happens is now you are left with question mark plus 4 into 8. Then there is a bracket. And next what we will get over here is. Uh, 4, 40 into 12 is what? 480. Now, if you look closely here, if you don't put the square brackets, it's fine because there is nothing ahead of square brackets. So, what we can do is actually there was no need to write the square brackets at all. Okay. Next, what we can do here is, um, wait, I think I misplaced it. Okay. Yeah. Now, what we can do here, we have 8. See, we are going from left to right. Please don't forget we are going still left to, uh, sorry, right to left, not left to right. Okay. So now what we will do to get rid of this 8 from your LHS, you will divide both sides by 8. So this and this will cancel and you are like 1s are and 60s are. So now you are left with our question mark plus 4 equals to 60. Now in order to find the value of question mark, you will subtract both sides by 4. So now, therefore, I can say the value of this question mark is nothing but what? 56. I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. Please understand when you have these kind of questions, you always go from your right to left. Okay. If you have to find the value of an equation, then you go the other way round. I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.